In this video, I will show you how to build a bird hotel with a hidden camera. The birds and their children will live there absolutely free, while we will enjoy watching their life. To build such a hotel, we'll use this board. Its sizes are 30 cm wide and 18 mm thick. We had no blueprints, so we improvised as we went along. We will share with you all the measurements we got a bit later. Luckily, we have some tools to make this process a bit easier. But if you have enough time, you can work with a standard saw or jigsaw. We made two boards, one wide and one narrow. The wide one will be used as a front panel for our hotel. On the top, we cut off two corners from the board and get a projection of a tall house. Although our hotel will have a very unusual shape. We need the exact same piece, so we just draw the outline of the one we already have, and after cutting, we get an extra copy of it. Now we take a narrow board, and enclosing the main piece, we make a mark in this place. The cut should be made at an angle of 45 degrees. Now we put the next board, and mark the place where it is to be cut. It all looks easy and fast on the video, but it took us over three days to design this hotel. We repeat the steps, placing the board around the perimeter of the workplace by making two top boards a little longer, because they will serve as the roof of the house, which will protect it from the rain. The place for laying eggs and making the nest is right here. Usually, cameras are installed above the nest, and this angle doesn't allow the camera to make beautiful shots. Placing the camera like this, we can shoot at an angle of 45 degrees and get a really cool shot. Now we need to cut a hole for the birds to enter. We choose a 32mm diameter nozzle. The entrance should be big enough for the bird to enter, and at the same time, small enough to protect it from predators getting inside and eating all the eggs or the chicks. Now that all the details are ready, we measure each side and indicate its length, so that you can make the same hotel at home. There's no hotel without windows, and our case is no exception. We need a small piece of acrylic glass, the outline of which we draw on the roof of the house. Next, we drill a hole there, and inserting an electric jigsaw blade inside, we cut out a rectangle slightly smaller than the contours of the acrylic piece. We need to get a frosted window that will allow soft diffused light. For this, we take an abrasive sponge and make a lot of scratches on the glass, which will break the light beams, creating the desired effect. We smear the edges of the hole for the glass with rubber glue put it in its place and nail it so that there are no gaps and water can get inside the house. On starting to assemble the construction, we realized that there might not be enough space inside, so we decided to change the roof a bit, so it would not go inside but overlap with the walls of the house. Then we smoothed the hole with a grinder and made scratches with screws to make it easier for the birds to cling onto the walls and for chicks to come out of the nest. Finally, we get this small room, with nice lights from the window. We bought this camera and planned to put it inside the house, however it wasn't ready to be placed and shoot inside those conditions, so we had to rework a few things. We couldn't just bolt it inside the house, because then, in case that there are chicks inside, we couldn't get it out easily. So we made these rails inside the house, fastened the camera on a piece of board, and nailed two curved nails so that it would secure the deck with the camera. As a result, it works like this. We want the camera to work via Wi-Fi network. So we purchase this antenna with an extension cord, which we will hang outside the house. We fasten the two lids of the house with this hinge. Its aim is to allow us to quickly get access inside the house in case of an emergency. To protect it from opening by the wind or neighbor's cats, we attach here the loop and hook that will fix the roof. We cut off a piece of tape for wires and screw it to the bottom wall of the structure. 
Once all the wires are connected and assembled in this place, they should be protected from the rain by the structure on top. A camera on top will record what's going on inside the house, while the birds will make their nest and lay eggs to hatch the little chicks. We will be able to watch their everyday life. We cover the roof with protective wood oil and finally I'm ready to put the bird hotel on this spruce. But I got a little problem. There's no socket on the tree. So the closest source of electricity is in this lantern. It doesn't have a socket as well, but it has a bulb and a socket for it. And here I faced a new challenge. I have to connect this socket somehow. To do this, I take the non-working bulb and cut off the plastic cover to get to the inside. With a screwdriver, I take out the board with all the parts after making small holes in the plus and minus contacts. I put the wires inside and solder them. On the other side, I put the usual socket from the construction store, fasten everything with tape and get such a super gadget that may be easily screwed into the lamp. There, I also insert the power supply and cover it all with the lid to protect it from the rain. And finally, I begin the installation. I had to climb the ladder to the height of 4 meters without falling from there and without breaking the house or any of my body parts. Once I did it, I put the birdhouse on the tree and put the camera in its special place. By the way, I nailed this stick to the side so that the birds have a place to sit. I installed the bed and the kitchen furniture in our hotel room and then set the front wall. Later, I threw in some sunflower seeds to treat the birds. Everything seems to be ready now, and in order to shoot the next episode, we need someone to move into the house. But for some reason, no one came there. I even placed there a bird feeder full of seeds, turned on the bird singing on a Bluetooth speaker for the whole day. Even a sign with an arrow did not bring any results. Two days passed from that moment, but the house was still empty. We already reconciled with the fact that the next video with nesting will not happen. And then, the next morning... Surprise, motherfucker! Subscribe to not miss the next episode!